Hello. Welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss what information is provided in the impedance data summary and table on the impedance testing form. Let's get started. The table summary shows the baseline impedance. The baseline impedance can be obtained from the current test by checking this box. The baseline calculation is done by averaging all the cell values and then disregarding any cells which are more than plus minus 5% off from the average. The average is then recalculated with the remaining cells and the process is repeated until all the remaining cells are within plus minus 5% of the average. Typically you would do this if you were testing on a battery string for the first time. So the baseline impedance would be calculated from the first test that's done on a battery string and then any subsequent tests that are done on the same battery string would be stored on the same file so that those uh, impedance values can then be compared with the original baseline measurement. You can also set a baseline impedance for a particular uh, cell model in the local software database and you can check this box and use that value as the baseline impedance. Here it shows you the average impedance. If you were testing on a battery string where all cell values were within plus minus 5% of each other, then you would get the same value uh, for baseline impedance and average impedance. But here you can see there's a bit of a difference and that's because uh, there are some cells which deviate from the average uh, by more than plus minus 5%. Here you can see the total string voltage which is the sum total of individual cell voltage uh, values which were measured during the test. Here it shows you the deviation uh, from the charger voltage which was entered over here. Here you can see the unit of the impedance values displayed. In this case it's milliohms. Here you can see the minimum voltage measured on a cell. Here you can see the maximum cell voltage measured. Now let's look at the main data table. The leftmost column shows you the cell number or the jar number. If you click on any of these numbers, it brings up the cell information window where you can select the manufacturer and model. If the cell model that you're looking for is not there in the list, you can create a cell model by clicking on cell model and entering the information in this window that comes up. The cell model is there in the list. You can just select that and then click on OK and you will see the model appear over here. Right clicking on the cell number gives you an option to delete jar. So if you did an invalid measurement or for whatever reason if you want to exclude a row from the report altogether you can do that by selecting this option. This column is to add notes. Uh, if you want to add any notes or comments that, that can be added in this column. This column shows you the impedance value. The impedance values are in milliohms. This column shows you the percentage deviation from the baseline impedance. So the deviation of these individual cells uh, is calculated with respect to the baseline impedance. And in this column you see the percentage variation values. Percentage variation values are calculated with respect to the average. So because the average impedance is different from the baseline impedance in this case, you will see that the percentage variation values are different from the percentage deviation values uh, because both of them are calculated with respect to different reference values. 
this column shows you the percentage change percentage change shows you the change in the individual cell impedance with respect to the previous test so if you were testing uh, a battery strength for the first time then you won't see any value in this column but if you did any subsequent tests on the same battery string and stored those test results on the same file from the second test onwards you would always see percentage change values in this column with respect to uh, the previous test here it shows you the individual cell voltage measurements here it shows you the time at which the measurements were done here it shows you the cell model as I mentioned earlier but you can see that the cell model is empty for all the remaining cells now if you want to copy this information over to the remaining cells you can just right click on this column and you can select set all cells to cell 1 manufacturing model and when you say yes you will see that DDM35 appears on all rows here it again shows you the cell number and the last two columns are reserved for specific gravity measurements if you have an Anton par hydrometer you can run specific gravity measurements and then uh, using the data logger that you we provide you can download measurements from the hydrometer onto PowerDB to do that you will need to right click on this column and then select the option load hydrometer data in this format the specific gravity measurements are meant to be entered for every cell but if that's not the case let's say you're doing specific gravity measurements but not on all cells uh, you can go back here and select the way uh, you have done the measurements so let's say you did specific gravity measurements on one cell and then skipped five cells and then did a specific gravity measurement on the seventh cell in this case so that if that's the way you did the measurements you will see that five rows are skipped in the table and the specific gravity measurements would go on the rows which are available in the table for the purpose of analysis since the average impedance can be affected by individual cell values which may be uh, which may deviate from the average by by a big margin if you want to exclude cells like those for example in this case cell number 13 has a very high percentage variation uh, compared to the other cells so if I want to exclude cell number 13 from the uh, average calculation I can just right click on this cell and click on exclude reading when I you will see that the color of the reading changes to orange and uh, you will see that the per stage variation values for the other cells are recalculated and that's because cell number 13 is now not included in the average impedance calculation to include a reading in the uh, calculation of the average we can just select the include reading option and you can see that it becomes red again if you right click anywhere else on the table you see additional options to copy the table to copy it to a CSV format to select charts so when you click the select charts option uh, it brings up a window where you have all these checkboxes, all these options available for different charts and we will cover this part in another video this concludes the video on what information is provided in the impedance data summary and table on the impedance testing form Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos, including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.